multiple arrests outside the White House, here's who Trump is having hauled off in handcuffs, 16 protesters were arrested at the White House for hilarious reasons that, as usual for liberals, make no sense nor are backed by logic or facts. The protesters were screaming or mumbling barely coherent things about some wall that Trump might build. You know, somewhere along the line of Mexico and Texas, and it might keep some violent criminals out of the country. At the very least, it might just be harder to dig under and perhaps they might attempt to get over the wall with a human cannonball or massive pole vault. Sixteen protesters from the immigration activist group CASA have been arrested in front of the White House. The group follows the hashtag NoBanalNorades. The protesters are shouting no more deportations. Protesters are demanding the release of Liliana Cruz Mendez. Mendez defied a 2006 deportation order and is currently in custody facing deportation. The protesters who hate the idea of a wall, which keeps people inside the wall safe, were also chanting about no raids or bans. Raids of what? Illegal immigrant criminals who have hurt people one way or another. For crying out loud, how liberal do you have to be to understand that we already have enough violent people in our country and letting in a few more is not a good idea? Kicking a few out is. And then liberals say well they have families and then people with working brains say well then they shouldn't have broken the law and then liberals begin screeching and everyone giggles and calls cartoon frogs and purple trash doves the racist symbols of the century. Then the protesters don't want any Muslim people banned from airplanes coming into the country. Muslims should be the only people banned from airplanes entering the United States. How often does anyone else cause a problem? Not very often. Most travelers just want to get to point A, B, and sometimes C. What are these protesters thinking? There's enough evil in America and we need to stop letting more in. If your evil meter is maxed out, then you're closed for business. Nothing wrong with a little bit of extreme vetting, even if it involves waterboarding. Business or pleasure as they hold them down and dump water over the towel. Business or pleasure. Answer and once again, you hear that screeching that the liberals do so well. I believe America should deport liberals and keep Mexicans. Mexican people are wonderful if they're not a criminal. They have a great culture, wonderful food, and awesome drinks. Liberals, even if they're not a criminal, offer nothing to society. They're literally the bottom of the barrel. Nothing but whiny a-holes and oversensitive crybabies. I'd love to deport those fish face transgenders and bimbo-brained armpit hair-loving haggard women and beta-boy coop males. They're all useless to America and offer nothing to this country. I'm glad the protesters were arrested because maybe this will teach them a valuable lesson. For one, no one listens to protesters. Ever. They show up screaming and chanting their nonsense and then they go away. Done deal. It's over. Nothing changed. No one cares. So what is the point? Try getting a job and moving out of their parents' house and being self-sufficient for once. Working isn't that bad. The protesters then demanded the release of Liliana Cruz Mendez. She's in custody because she defied a deportation order in 2006 and now she's caught again. She faces deportation. Oh well. Follow the immigration laws if you want to become a permanent resident. At least get the paperwork started so you have a better chance of staying here if you get caught by those ice boys. Why do people think they don't have to follow the laws that are set in place to help provide society with a basis of being civil and living under a common rule? Sure, some rules are stupid, but that's just how it is. There's a lot of rules that a lot of people disagree with, but we follow them so we can avoid fines and jail time. If a rule is not worth following, then we take it up with local government and try to change it. We do that by presenting a more logical option and hoping that people run with our idea to make progress on any laws that no longer seem normal to us. The technicality of the arrested protesters is this, a group of idiots showed up to the White House to demand someone else, who broke the law, be released. Let me know how that works for them. Click click. That's the sound of the handcuffs slapped on the wrists of people about to start screeching their liberalism all the way to the police station. That's a great arrest and taxpayer money well spent to clean the libturts off the streets. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, 
and follow up. And thanks for watching.